Want to see some, uh, want to see some Japanese manga style art getting sketched? Then you need to check this video out. Hello, it's me, your old pal Max West. I draw comics. I do children's picture books. I'm going to try something a little different today. I'm going to try drawing something a little more Japanese influence, not unlike a manga character. Yeah, this is a f manga style fox I was sketching up. I'm going to uh, do a sketch here. I'm going to lay it out in pencil here in my sketchbook. Then whip out some colored pencils and try doing some work there with some color. Alright. There we go. I've got light. Alright. Let's get that camera positioned pretty well. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. There's a friend of mine who, uh, you know, who's been, you know, telling me I should draw, draw in a Japanese style. And I'm an in, into anime and manga. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I'm one of the original fans here in the USA. Back when, back when anime and manga and Japanese media, back when that was more of a, uh, back when that was more of a niche. It was more popular among teenagers in high school, college kids, and the nerd and geek crowd. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't like the diamond-shaped head here. See, that's why I like to sketch light. In case I, I don't do something right, I'll just, uh, just try Try again. All right. I'm gonna try drawing a uh, more triangular shape head. All right. All right. Have a pair of big canine ears. chubby body there, but not fat. Unlike my past animal characters, this one, this character will be wearing shoes. Let's give him a t-shirt there. Maybe some shorts. Yeah, I was influenced by some of the Japanese manga I've read such as Akira Toriyama's Dr. Slump. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, um... I'm older. I've my influence as opposed to today's kids has always been more western newspaper comic strips as well as um you know classic western cartoons like Disney, Warner Brothers, MGM, that kind of stuff. Nose a bit. I want I want this fox character to look cute. Yeah, see how he's shaping out to be. All right. All 
right? There we are. Let's just tighten up the pencils here. I'm just doing a rough study as I want to get, get an idea down. All right. Yeah. I like this color scheme, so I'm going to go with it. Orange fur. He's wearing a blue ringer shirt. Blue and orange are complementary colors, so that's why that particular color scheme works so well. <laughs> Damn, I'm pretty clumsy today. Black, orange. I'm using a limited color palette. I've got black, orange, blue, and white. You know, in this case, less is more. I mean, the blue and orange is a very complementary color there. It's eye-catching. It, it gets your attention. There we go. Well, you can do very basic stuff with colored pencil. You really can do amazing things if you really apply yourself. You can apply, you know, very neat painterly or photorealistic effects. I think we can do without green pencil. All right. Let's get that blue colored. Again, the whole point here is I just want to get an idea down. I've been thinking of maybe doing a Yankama-style manga. You know, for practice as well as for fun. If you don't know what that is, it means for sell. Basically, it's like a four-panel comic strip, not unlike many American comic strips were back before 1990. Oh, look that up online for more examples. All right. Let's do his fur here. I don't know what I'm going to call the fox. Should I choose to pursue um, development of the character some more? Wow, I mean, just look at that color study. The blue, the blue and the orange, that really meshes together. So I've said they're compl the two are complementary colors. So they can provide some very striking contrasts and catch the attention of people. All right, there we go. And that, friends, is a demonstration of a manga-style fox. And you see how snappy that looks? All right. Well, that's it for today's video. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to be notified of more videos I do. If you want to see more of my work, just check out some of the links below. Until next time, everybody, it's me, your old pal Max West, saying goodbye.